Hi, this is Goganus today, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple, most of the things I show you people how to do in tutorials are simple, but a simple 2D platformer. So first, open Blender if you haven't already, and delete your default cube by pressing X. Then, before you do anything, go to the side view, like either pressing 3 on the numpad or going to view and then side. I think it's 3 on the numpad, I don't know, I don't even have a numpad. But, so now, spacebar add mesh cube. Now, I might want to make this cube a little smaller by pressing S and moving in. Now press S, Y. This will make the cube bigger on the Y axis. So make it bigger to about there. Bring it down a bit. And just to make it look good, I'm going to add color to this by going in the shading bar here. And I'm going to make this blue. I don't, it doesn't matter what you make it, but... Okay, so now... Oh, and just so this is um, a little longer than this, the little level and stuff, you can hit Shift-D to duplicate, then move that over by either pressing G and moving it, or uh, pressing on these little arrows here to move it to this side. So now, spacebar, add, mesh, cube. Make it smaller. This cube will be our player. Our character. We're just, it's going to be simple. Nothing too complicated. I'm going to add color to this. Make it green. Now go into the logic panel. Hit add, add, add. Connect these. Make this a dynamic. Where it says always, bring it to keyboard. Right, oh, click on this, press a key, right arrow. Now we're going to set controls here. Let's see if this works. Okay, so for, um, For to move right with the right arrow, have ten point ten in the middle on location. So um, now to add on each thing again, keyboard, press a key, left arrow. Now for left arrow, make sure you connect these. For left arrow, negative hit negative ten in the middle go down to negative 10. Now, let's see. Now when I hit the right arrow, it goes right. When I hit the left arrow, it goes left. Now there's one more thing I'm going to add. I'm going to add one more control. And this will be making the our character jump. I'm going to hear where it says press key. I'm going to make that the space bar. Make sure you connect these. I'm going to try the right location, 10. Okay, that's right. I'm just going to give him a little more jumping power and make the one in the right hand thing 0.15 instead of 0.10. So now if we press P to play, goes right, left, jump. Okay, now grab your camera. By pressing G and rotate it until it's facing the player. We want it to be right in front of the player. You can go into view and then camera to see if you can see the char um, character with it. And ways you can move it is pressing G to grab and R to rotate or double R to rotate it in more than one direction. 
So now I've got the camera set in the right spot. Now the camera is selected, so hit shift and right click, hold shift and right click on the, on the cube. Now both are selected. Hold control and then press P Make and click make parent. Now the camera and the cube are parented. So when you press P to play, the camera the f will follow the cube wherever it goes, even when it jumps. So, a parenting is basically not joining an object, joining is something else, but it's like connecting, or like making an object stay with another object. So, since the camera is parented to the player, it will stay with the player, and that's how you move the camera in a 2D platformer. But there you have it. That's your basic 2D platformer. I'll make more tutorials, maybe. Anyway, hope this helped you.